Hi everybody. Dash wanted to say hello. <laughs> you just ate a treat. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh. I just give people a couple minutes to sign on. I thought I'd just come on early so you could say hi to Dash. And then Dash could say hi to you as he sniffs around, figures things out. <laughs> yes, you're adorable. It's true. It's true. We're just having a little prelude to the service, and the prelude is Dash. Yay, Dash. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you might go to sleep in my lap, or he might be active or lie down in his bed. You never know. There are so many options for his activity. Come on. Why don't you rest down here while we pray together? <gasps> that would be awesome. There you go. Not quite situated right there. That's good. All right. There we go. Now we can just rest. This is our prelude with Dash. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's 8 o'clock. Welcome, those who've joined us already. It's so good to see you. I'm Hilary Smith, Church of the Holy Comforter, Richmond, Virginia, and we're delighted to be worshiping with, with you wherever you are. So good to see you tonight. And I thought I'd go back to what I was doing a couple weeks ago or a week ago or so, which is the um, J. Philip Newell Celtic Benediction book. And this is the Monday night prayer. Let me get to that. There you go. Okay, you ready? Ready for Monday night prayer? Okay, he's ready. It's a good thing. This is an opening sentence from Psalm 90, verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. I'm just going to say that again. That's so beautiful. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And now we are invited into some silence where we can be still and become aware. If we're not already aware, you may already be aware, but this is intentionally to be aware of God's presence within us and all around us. That was so cute. Okay, Dash just yawned, a huge yawn, that was super cute. Now we're having our opening prayer. In the infinite of night skies, in the free flashing of lightning, in the whirling elemental winds, you are God. In the impenetrable mists of dark clouds, in the wild gusts of lashing rain, in the ageless rocks of the sea, you are God and I bless you. You are in all things and contained by no thing. You are the life of all life and beyond every name. You are God and in the eternal mystery, I praise you. And now the scripture and meditation section from Psalm 84, verse 5. Happy are those whose strength is in you. And from John 3, 8, Jesus said, The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. 
Yeah, I remember, you know, it's interesting about doing this prayer over the weeks is we, we can remember, I remember reading it a few weeks ago, like four weeks ago, and then we hear it tonight, and it, it might, some of the scriptures, some of the prayers might strike us in a different way. Um, from the opening prayer, it's so beautiful, you know, really connecting God with God's creation. And of course, this week is the, on the 22nd, what's the date? Is the 20th, okay, not there yet. On the 22nd, it is Earth Day, the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Also happens to be my dad's birthday, and I was two, <laughs> 50 years ago, I was two years old. So, I don't know, you know, the slowing down, everybody's slowing down, many people, and generally society's slowing down even if, you know, people are out there working, taking care of us. But the earth, the earth has responded, right? I mean, seeing the dolphins in Venice, and you can see the Himalayas from India again, first time in 30 years. You know, we'd never want this to be happening, but one of the blessings has been this awareness of how we impact the earth, but also how it can change pretty dramatically when we stop doing what we usually do for a while. And I don't know, there's just something graceful about that. Um, and it's interesting, it's happening on this 50th anniversary of Earth, earth Day. Yeah, the infinite of night skies, the flashing of lightning, the whirling elemental winds. You are God, ageless rocks of the sea. So beautiful. And then from John's Gospel, the wind blows where it chooses. As many of you probably know, wind and breath and spirit are all the same word in Hebrew. And so, you know, the spirit is in the wind. The wind is spirit. Uh, the spirit is surrounding us all the time, blowing. We hear the sound of it. We don't know exactly where the journey is going day to day, but we know ultimately it's going to God and that God is with us in it all. And we are born of the spirit. I love that. Born of the spirit. Prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and intercession. For your spirit woven into the fabric of creation. For the eternal overlapping with time. And the life of the earth interlaced with heaven's vitality. I give you thanks, O God. For your untamed creativity your boundless mystery and your passionate yearnings planted deep in the soul of every human being, I give you thanks. Grant me the grace to reclaim these depths, to uncover this treasure, to liberate these longings, and in being set free in my own spirit, to act for the well-being of the world. And now we are invited to recall the events of the day and pray for the life of the world. And feel free to share anything that you would like um, in the messaging, uh, in typing into the, the chat of this, if you would like. The events of the day. Hmm. All right, let us pray. We do pray, O oh God, for the life of the world, for every person and every animal and creature, and for the earth, for the well-being of our, our fragile island home. Now 
closing prayer. O brother Jesus, who wept at the death of a friend and overturned tables in anger at wrong, let me not be afraid of the depths of passion. Rather, let me learn the love and anger and wild expanses of soul within me that are true expressions of your grace and wisdom. And assure me again that in becoming more like you, I come closer to my true self, made in the image of outpouring love, born of the free eternal wind. Amen, amen. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm glad I could be here tonight and glad Dash could be here with us all. And it's so good to see everyone. Yes, we miss each other. We miss being in person. Ah, oh, we do not need to hide our grief about that or our longing, our lament about what's going on in this time. I'm so thankful we can at, at least be together in these ways uh, that this exists. But good to see you all. And um, tomorrow night, Joe will be here with some prayer at 8. You may have noticed sometimes we've been having technical issues or like last week, I totally forgot the time and the day. <laughs> so occasionally we might not make it right at 8. But chances are good that at some point it'll happen. And we're still mostly, mostly getting on here by 8 o'clock. All right. Um, take care. God bless. And I'll see you later.